So I am obsessed with coveralls. <laughs> I got my first pair last year during a puppet building workshop and it has been life changing. As someone whose storytelling process is very DIY, very makerspace, very hands-on, I cannot even count the number of clothes that I have ruined with glue and burn holes and paint. <laughs> so many favorite pairs of leggings and sweaters. Yeah, no, that's all I wear. So many favorite pairs of leggings and sweaters. Enter dawn of the coveralls, a messy age for us all. Your girl needs full body coverage. This maintenance blue pair was my very first and since then, because yes, I am that girl, I have acquired one in every color. And like any good collector, not only did I need to store them, but I also wanted to display my collection. You know, like Batman in the Batcave with all of his cute little bat outfits. So that brings me to this space. I just moved into this studio workshop little basement room <laughs> and it's been a very gradual process of unpacking boxes and figuring out where everything is going to live and you know just trying to make it my own and make it functional and in amongst all of this I needed to find a home for my coveralls. This media console behind me with these beautiful built-in wooden shelves is fantastic storage. I've got room for all my supplies, all of my gear, but the major thing it's missing is a closet rod, you know, for one's coveralls. <laughs> So, hmm, you know what? I just, let's, I just need to pause and do a little sidebar here. Um, this is good trash. Like this is, this is not random garbage for the record. I build puppets out of this. Fuck you, my child is completely fine. I just felt we needed to get that on the record. Okay, so. Moving on. In amongst all of this, I needed to find a place for my coveralls. And I didn't want to install a closet rod because that would mean drilling into the wood of these shelves. And because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna outgrow this space in one to two years, like this room is very small. I didn't wanna do any permanent changes. So I was trying to think of non-invasive ways to hang what are, you know, relatively heavy things. The first thing I tried was this under the cabinet mug hook thing and I tested it out. There was a little hole at the end where I was hoping I could maybe attach like a command strip hook just to help keep it nice and close against the shelf and counterbalance some of the weight but ultimately it didn't work. Attaching the command hook strip thing was just going to look really bulky under the shelf and while it seemed able to hold the current weight of my coverall collection, I was very doubtful that it could handle any more. So that was obviously a major problem. Now tension rods are a thing that is a closet rod that just uses the tension up against either side of the wall to stay up. No screws required and that's kind of, you know, the obvious solution to my problem here. But I was scared that it wouldn't be able to handle the weight of my coveralls. But my mom had one lying around the house and she said, hey, do you want to just try it out? And I figured, eh, why not, right? So I got this tension rod, I put it up and it worked really great. All of my coveralls are there, not a problem. It handles the weight and I do feel like it can take several more pairs. To finish the look, I added these shower curtain hooks so that I could hang my bandanas. I wrap these around my head to keep all of the little hairs out of my face when I'm working on projects because, pro tip, itchy noses and paint covered hands, not a great combination. So that is how I stored and displayed my coveralls. The best part about this project is everything was just reused. So that is friendly to the environment and my modest little artist wallet. Moving into the studio space is just going to be very gradual. I'm trying to work and make content at the same time. So I just take on little organization projects here and there. There's no schedule for when I'll take on another one of these, but I will make a video and just upload it as I start really making the studio space my own. In the meantime, you can check out my other video series, The Business of Art. This is a series that I'm making on business tips and skills for artists and creatives. No, it is not entrepreneur guru nonsense. These are like real skills. I talk about budgets and taxes and grants, stuff that will actually help you, things that I had to learn that I found immensely helpful once I figured out how to do them. So that should be a really good resource for you to check out. And then every Wednesday night, I'm over on Twitch with a program called The Write-In. It is a virtual open writing space. All writers are welcome. We say hi, and then we start a two hour writing sprint. And then at the end, we you know, share what we've been working on. We talk about writing, we visit a little bit. It's a great time, it's a great community. Check us out on Twitch. My name is Savannah and for more vlogs, tutorials, and behind the scenes of artistic projects, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time with a new video.